everybody. Um, exciting to have you here tonight with us. I'm also grateful that you chose us because you could be doing um, anything at this point in time with your family. Um, my promise to you is a fun-filled, crazy learning, unlearning, relearning, and, and sharing. Um, Nontlantla, a big thanks to you for taking us on your journey um, where we have a platform to talk about some of the things that are seen as, as a taboo and, and just be. Um, can you tell us about why you chose this particular topic? Just give us an in. <laughs> Love and date after 40. I mm -hmm. chose this topic because yeah, it's possible to kiss a lot of frogs after 40, when you think you've got this, you don't, hey? You don't. So that's why I chose it. That's why I chose it. Okay. No, that's good. Um, and I have a few questions for you because I also ran a poll and asked um, um, a few people a few questions. So maybe we may start, we may start with you. What is the one word that comes to mind when you think about uh, dating in your 40s or beyond in your 40s and beyond it's tricky that's one word tricky, tricky. Mm. unpack unpack it unpack it for us when i say tricky you know you think you've got this over 40 you know exactly what you want but you meet people <laughs> they make you feel like you don't know exactly what you want as <laughs> i say it's tricky <laughs> you think you've got this and uh, it shows that, uh, you know what, your heart can still be broken <laughs> over 40. Mm, <laughs> so mm, hence I'm mm. using the word tricky. Tricky. And when you look back at your 20-year-old self, what advice would you give to yourself? I never go for handsome guys, hey? Because when you're around 20, all you want handsome guys, you don't think of anything, you know, that matters in life. And you grow up over 40, you see that, uh-uh, handsomeness doesn't work. You know, there's a lot of things that you need to consider when you date. <laughs> so and I'll what say, excites you? Uh, what excites you where you are right now? I don't have anybody. So what excites me? What do you mean? There's nothing that's exciting me. I'm lonely. <laughs> I'm <laughs> and you are happy. You are happily lonely, right? I am. I'm happily lonely. Um, I I was uh, now and then you can have a feeling if you want to. That's the nice thing about over 40. You make your own choices. Okay. That's yeah. good. That's good. Mm -hmm. I think um, that that is one of the things that we'll explore more. And like I said earlier on, um, ladies, and I don't know if we have any gentlemen on the line, is that I could have gone and read up on 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 this topic. Um, there's a lot of material up out there in preparation for tonight. However, I chose to go into my inner circle um, and asked a couple of people. Some of them are on 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 online. But I told them I'm not going to reveal any names as I share what some of them had to say. Um, so I must say I enjoyed reading uh, some of the some of the responses to my questions, the very same questions that I've asked you. Um, and we will share as we converse. And it's a free flow, guys. We will open the floor. And maybe before I even go on to the next step, is we the time is very tight. Previously, we've gotten carried away. And you'll see as you get into the conversations, it gets so much fun and we talk, but I'm very conscious that it's peak time in terms of family time. So we will try and finish and finish on time. Okay. So let me tell you briefly about my story uh, because I need to go bear with you, right? Before I can ask you to be bare as well. Um, I decided to wait for the ring before having kids. Um, so that delayed, I got the ring at like 34 and immediately 35, I had a, I gave birth. Um, and then God said, okay, you wanted a ring before you had a baby, you have a baby now. Five years later, I got divorced and it was uh, around 40, 41. That's where my journey started, my journey of self-discovery, my journey of, um, of um, exploring, my journey of, of discomfort and uncomfort and excitement because when you're in a relationship or in a marriage, you become very comfortable with the person that you are and all of that. 
But um, what I appreciate more is at this age or dating beyond 40s is that I'm very clear on what I want. Um, and in a relationship, the gift of time, I value the gift of time. Um, I value kindness. Kindness is very big to me. And I'm very comfortable in, in my own body. So I'm not afraid um, to explore and to say what my needs are. We'll come back to that later. I don't want to take the shine out of everybody here that is like burning to share. And when I don't get what I want and after I try, I walk away boldly. So what people say to me, it doesn't matter anymore because I am where I am because I've worked hard for it. Um, I've worked on my spirituality. I've worked on all facets of my life. So I'm very, very comfortable and do not give into any pressure. So that's a bit about me for now. Um, and if I were to open the floor and people can just free flow and tell me what is the one word that comes to mind when you think about dating in your forties and beyond? That one word. And why? I'm going to pinpoint people. If nobody, I'm going to choose a, um, a volunteer. Okay, let me share with you. Maybe it will break the ice. Let me share with you what some of the things people said. The one word was unapologetic. Um, and the other word was wow. There was a couple of liberating. Um, and there was also beautiful. Any of those words resonate with any of us on here? Tebukho? Good evening, everyone. Um, yeah, love at, after 40, uh, it's something else because to me, the one thing that comes to my mind is really um, real love and companionship. Um, mm -hmm. It's very it's easy to fall in love with the handsome man in your twenties, like non plant say, but um, at my age right now, I, I'm looking for someone in the top person. It's not about being handsome; it's about mm -hmm. character. Mm -hmm. Lots of scammers. Lots of scammers out there. Um, Munene, if you can hear us or anyone, um, can does somebody does anybody want to explore that? Because it's really true. Um, about the scammers. We know about the latest that movie about um, the swindler, the Tinder swindler. Tell us more. Anyone that wants to take it, it doesn't have to be Munene. Okay, so, so let me tell you. Let me tell you more about um, what my people said, and I want to. I want to throw it out there um, and tell me what you think. Um, the why was um, you have done things by the book up to that point in your life, and now everything goes. There is a word, There is a saying that says life begins at forty. So people literally take it seriously that life begins at forty. So I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna do what I want. Um, I don't care about what the society thinks as long as I'm happy. Um, there's also <laughs> the one that said um, scary. Um, to Munena's point, but this one is a different scary to say. At that age, there seems to be a discomfort. Uh, for undressing for somebody new because our bodies have changed. So there's a level of discomfort there that, that, you need to, yeah, that we need to overcome. So, and then um, this one is Weber team. I can date whoever I want to date, um, any age, any race, without giving an F about what anyone thinks. And I'm not afraid not to date and do me with my battery boyfriend. Any thoughts on what I've just shared, on what my sample has shared? Um, can I say something while yes. they're still thinking? Yeah, yeah, I think it's true. You can date whoever you want. You don't care what the society says. And especially um, 
You know, I think sometimes we live too much for people. We care too much about what people say. I'm at a stage that I don't care anymore. If it's not working for me, it's not working. If I want to have fun, let me have fun. It's about me. But having said that, we mustn't forget that, you know, they normally say we collect spirits. <laughs> so we mustn't forget that we collect different spirits. I don't know what it does to us. So we must just be careful about that at the same time. Do you want to tell us more about collecting spirits? Because we want to walk away being um, wiser. Uh, they say when you have sex with people, you, mm. you know, you collect spirits. So I still need somebody who can explain actually what do they mean by that? Mm -hmm. mm. If there's somebody who can explain exactly, but I think it's true. But it means we've got a lot of spirits, eh? <laughs> and <laughs> how, how do you get rid of them? So whoever, somebody must tell us, how do you collect them? And how do we get rid of them? Please oh, enlighten okay. us. Yeah, how do we get rid of them? Because yes. at the same time, you know, and the other thing, uh, I don't know, men and women, they like asking, how many, how many people have you dated? I mean, for me, it's irrelevant. If it doesn't work, what do you do? Do you stay in that yeah. relationship because you want to count five boyfriends? Nah, it doesn't work like that. For me, it doesn't work like that. If it's not working, I move on. So yeah. please, somebody just explain about the spirits. And then how um, do we get rid of them? Maybe I want to get rid of few spirits. <laughs> well, the person that I'm going to call now, I don't know if she can tell you how to get rid of them because well, she's been married since she was 10, like Monday. But um, Tembi has joined us um, all the way from another continent, another country. All together, it's a different time um, there by her. But she says um, spirit is an energy, and energy has no boundaries. Um, Rafiki, can we hear your voice, please? Can you give us the benefit of your voice so we can believe in your statement? <laughs> Rafiki? Thames. Are people muted or what's happening here? Hmm? You are muted, Nontantla. Can everybody hear me? They can unmute I'm... themselves. They oh, are okay. able to unmute themselves. Okay. They just get to talk. <laughs> yeah. You Okay. Um, anybody want, that wants to explore this, this energy? You might find Tempe is actually in the office or something. She does not want to talk. She can only type. Shall I go ahead, Isabel? I had my hand up, but I noticed a chair was not noticing. Okay, sorry, sorry. My Please hand. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, before the energies part, I wanted to talk to the fear of... of of meeting a, a, a Tinder swindler and all of that. You know, there are people that also swindle your emotions, not the money. They swindle with your emotions, they do what they want to do and then they walk away. So for me personally, I'm very, I'm very closed in a sense that I would, I do not want to open up for somebody that I know that it's not, there's nothing that we're going to build here. So I'm a type of person who is really having fun at the moment, which I don't see anything wrong with. And uh, in terms of spirit, I think the Tembi part could be right. Energies definitely do not have boundaries. But I think when somebody uses protection, there is a difference there. Because if there is no protection, then um, exchange of some things during the intimate part. That is where there is a problem. And emotions, over, not emotions, energies, well, they get intertwined that way. So unfortunately, I don't have the, I don't have the, 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 the knowledge on how to get rid of spirits. <laughs> I don't know how to get rid of spirits, really. But what I know for, for me personally, um, because I'm not in a steady relationship where we are like 
doing something or building something together. Uh, we, we're very careful, we're very uh, responsible, uh, we are protected all the time. So I don't think there's any spirits really coming into my realm in that regard, because okay. the relationship is not like an ongoing thing whereby we see each other all the time. I don't want to get into details, but it's just a nice casual thing. Disabled laughs, and I do not like her laughing because she and now is selling out my story with her face. But other than that, uh, I think the other thing with relationships after food, when you know who you are and what you really want out of a relationship, it's for me, it's okay to take your time. You don't have to rush. Some people are very lucky to find their partners again quickly, but I'm really taking my time. She knows she's one of the people that really knows guy uh, when it comes to relationships. I'm taking my time, and I think it's always okay to do that because then you don't make that judge, you don't take um, decisions that are rushed because you are just looking to have someone. No, I'm very private and I'm very selfish with myself as well. Having enjoyed my space for years, trying to heal from my past uh, marriage, I kind of have very, I'm very protective with my space. And I, I think I would give that space to someone that really deserves it. And at the moment, I feel like I haven't received, I haven't seen any. And it is okay with other people if you feel like maybe it's taking time. It's okay to just take your time and find the right person. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tebukho. Thank you very much for, for those insights. We really appreciate that. Um, Zanele, do you want to come in? Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. Hi, Zanele. Uh, hi, Nandli. You know, Mina, with my personal experience, ne. I'm divorced. I was once married. Uh, I just want to put some input in terms of scamming. Uh, uh, I can say that I was married and then the partner that I was married to, Yena, he came because of Abonoguti Uzanele, Usebenza Gashe, Uzanele, she's ending this. Uzanele, she bought a house. Uzanele managed to pay the school fees. So she, he was working, but he was not earning much. What had happened, he resigned. And then, Wayoja Imali, now whoever, like when he came back, they advised him, the friends, you know, when you can claim the 50 percent, yes, it's within everything. Whereas Mina, there is absolutely nothing. So for Mina, yes, I'm so scared, guys. Yo, I, I'm so scared. I'm not a good person in talking. I'm so sorry, but I know a good lot of men. The mind she binds and by peg or good, okay. Udi sebo, una this and that, unon luna this and that, umuntungena and jay, jing in yoga, ya bona the way hamba con, ye sisu, enzele abe naisa naisa, whereas knowing very well, uti, nyo shia la na la na la, then I'm okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I think that's that's really a reality. If I were to to add my five cents there, that um, and as much as it's a positive that you you have worked so hard, you have your own things, and especially when you you've just you've been divorced, you've got kids, you take care of everything, you sort of don't know um, what the intentions of people that are coming into your life are, mm -hmm. um, and at times you are right at times you're not at times we we we, we walk around bleeding on people that um, that never hurt us because we do not attend to the pain so i i would think that um, my my counsel would be to let's not go for counseling when things are bad let's go for counseling um or talk to people that we know are knowledgeable in the space where that can advise us because when you are hurt, I mean, you cannot carry your hurt around. At some point, you need to get over it because otherwise you are blocking whatever that needs to come into you. But I, I really, really hear you. And I think it's, a, it, it's something that a lot of us at this age can, can identify with. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that, um, Zanele. Um, mm -hmm. 
TD or TD Pila is saying uh, it's a bit, bit noisy where she is. Um, but in a nutshell, she's saying about the energies, the body never forgets an experience, be it fun, trauma. The experience always manifests at a later stage. Um, and Cynthia is asking a question, he's saying, in other words, is spirit a hit and run scenario, like no string, no strings attached. If Tembi is still in a noisy area, Cynthia, do you want us to do? You, do you want to unpack your question so we can have a conversation around um, what your question is? Yeah, I was thinking. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, we can perfectly. Oh, okay. No, I was, I was just saying. Um, no, talk. Oh gosh, there goes a dog barking out there. Um, the spirit is, yeah, it's, it's my, my mind, I was thinking about it when you started, uh, you started talking about it. It's, yeah, it's, like the, it's a heat and run because if you use the top protection and all that, it's like you're dealing with a spirit and it's gone. Once you've done the deed, you mm. know. So if you want to have casual ndondo or whatever, make sure that you've got enough socks and what have you, and... Those are spirits that you throw away afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank because you for this because it is very it's very difficult to find somebody now because we are all even we're all structured structured in our minds and our thought processes as opposed to when we're 20, 19, up to 30. Hmm. So now we are so fixed, so to speak in what we want and what you do. And then some character comes in and they think that they're going to take over your, your life. I don't think so. Mm. Okay, that's that's quite interesting because um, some of the comments from, from my sample, somebody was saying, um, the whole most of the people were talking about the whole sex thing, that sex is not a taboo anymore. Everybody's just comfortable at that stage. And um, saying that I'll quote, having sex on a first date and deciding, nope, um, I'm not going back because there are certain boxes that are not ticked. It's very comfortable with, 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 with you at this point um, because you are not going to cling on to each uh, Tom, Dig and Harry. It's almost like um, you are wanting, but the thing about the society that we live in, so patriarchal that um, as women, you're not expected to do that, right? You're expected to, you can't sleep with somebody on the first date, um, and if, even if you do, they are the ones that are supposed to leave you. You can't leave them because we are known to be like, you know, like we don't go anywhere. Um, any thoughts on that particular statement? There are too many rules. Mm. There are too many rules. You know, maybe, maybe one doesn't even want to have a relationship, but then we want to, to have a good time and have sex and all that. You can even have a very good friend and you can decide to be friends with benefits. Yeah. And okay. 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 Thank you. Um, I see Nontanta's hand is up. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of things I want to say from the conversation that I had. Uh, Cynthia, when you say there's too many rules that, okay, um, I want to find out. So the spirit thing, is it only it, it only happens when you're not wearing a sock? When you're wearing a sock, it's fine. That's my first question. <laughs> and the other thing about, yes, you're right. I think now we're at liberty that if you feel that mm, this guy is not doing it for me, you can say, go, you know, it's not working. It's just not working if it's not ticking the box, because sometimes you just want to have fun. I, I sometimes I, I become not, I want to have fun. And I did that and I had fun. I had my festive season, very good. <laughs> that was it. But you realize that mm -mm, it's not what I want. You know, mm -mm, I don't think this is what I want. And you still don't get angry with that person. You just say, oh, we can just be friends. It's okay. We can just be friends, <laughs> you know? And I think that's the good thing about being over 40 because you can make those decisions, you know? 
that mm, yeah no i hear you we did this i like you but mm -mm. no yeah. it's not doing it for me and then why is it also i'm going to ask another question that is it only men that can judge women in bed why can't we judge them why can't we judge them Good because question. in your 40s especially yeah <laughs> <laughs> Um, is there anybody that wants to take that on? But I, it looks like on the comments, there's a there's a battle of the sock uh, of the sock and the spirits um, there that is happening, um, and it's a pity that um, Tembi, I think Tembi still in the noisy area, um, because I think she could bring her point to life um, more um, clearly if she 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 was able to to speak. But um, if I think of those um in terms of your own self-esteem and your own confidence i remember in my late 20s when dating this guy and he just decided to to ghost you know when you sit in your house and you can hear a car in your head there's a car parking and there's a knock on the door and um, fast forward to now if anything like that happens i walk like I actually walk. But the other step further is that I am also confident enough to say, look, I've walked and this is why I've walked and I'm not going back rather than just ghosting someone. So it's like two coins of the same, two sides of the same coin to say, this was the person that I was because I, 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 I thought, okay, this person um, maybe is in an accident or maybe he ran over a cat or a dog or whatever. That's why he's not coming. Meanwhile, brother man is like, no, actually this is too good to be true. I'm not happy. I'm not really happy for, um, I'm not really ready for, for a commitment. Meanwhile, I did not even say anything about commitment. Those are some of the things that when we meet people that um, are not, are not um, aligned to what we want, what do we do? What do we do? Do we still imagine a car in the, in the parking lot and a key? Or do we keep looking and be assured that whatever that we're asking, it's not, it's not something that is impossible. If you're wanting quality time, it's not impossible. If you want kindness, it's not impossible. If you want presence, it's not impossible. Elaine, what do you think? Sorry, hello everybody. I'm actually driving you over to once. I'm just listening um, with somebody in the car. Oh. Uh, yeah, man. I just said, let me just log on so that I can listen. Wait oh, again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you know what? Um, probably maybe in about a few minutes, I'll probably be at the hotel. Then I can be able, you know, this topic really interests me so much. Um, you know? Oh, yeah. Tinder and Tinder a lot. We have met them. We know them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, sorry, ladies. I'm, I'm actually driving. He said, well, I'll, I'll probably just give me a few minutes. Okay. Okay. I would really, I would really, would really love to, to hear from you. Yeah. Sorry about that, man. No problem. <laughs> All no. right. Okay. For some reason, I can't see people's hands up. So on the chat, if your hand is up, please, um, please do say. Um, Nontanta is asking to say, do women freeze a person or def and defrost when needed? What do you mean by that, Nontli? <laughs> what I mean is, you know, your ex, from <laughs> freezer, your ex, and then when you need him, from <laughs> defrost. I think that's what I mean. My freezer or okay. defroster when it's needed. Do you guys do mm. that? Mm. That's interesting. That's another angle. Let's hear what Monde has to say. I'm not sure if he, she's saying on that note or on something else. Monde? 
Thank you, Disebo. Um, I'm not on the freezing part. <laughs> so a disclaimer before I can, um, I, I continue with my questions because I just want uh, a breakdown and understanding of uh, what we are talking about. And uh, the purpose is for my benefit, if I speak to somebody who's gonna be dating beyond their forties or even uh, beyond a certain age, what insights do I carry with me? Uh, mm -hmm. Do I share or the wisdom that I can uh, maybe uh, refer her to? First question that I have is about, I hear spirituality, I, I hear energies and, 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 and all that. My question is, do we have a, a understanding of um, uh, what we, when, when, when we speak of energies, what are we speaking about? Um, and when, 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 when we speak of, of energies, uh, my reference is, are we speaking uh, uh, energies regarding spirituality or what is our reference point? Is it our belief systems or, or what? That, that's my first one that I, I needed to understand. And I, 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 I hear sexual liberation and revolution um, at this age where maybe a person discovers themselves or somebody feels like, um, I mean, I, I, don't hear, I, I don't need to fear anything. I don't want to uh, be barred by, by what I believed um, um, uh, previously about uh, relationships and and and, uh, and 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 sex. So what happens at, at this stage is what what drives that liberation and what drives the revolution that happens regarding sex. That's my question. Okay. Maybe let, let me let me just pose those two um, uh, uh, and I'll listen. Okay, thank you very much, Monde, for those questions. Um, guys, you, you had the, the questions from Monde. The first one is around the energies. What is, it, um, what is it that we mean around the energies? And also the, what is driving the whole sexual um, liberation and, and revolution? There's no right or wrong answer. So anybody can, can take this one in terms of from their own experiences or observations. Hi, Disabo. Um, somebody on Facebook, I won't mention the name, says you accumulate, you accumulate spirit through intimate interactions, which do not necessarily involve uh, intercourse. Okay. So uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Husuna, Unzele Tachana, the spirit. So, hey, yeah. Yeah. And, and I'm. I'm oh, upset because the person that raised the whole energy thing Tim B, um, is not here to really, really go in and engage us on, on this one because she's leaving us um, guessing what exactly it means. You know what I mean? You were saying, Monde? Sorry. Uh, no, yes. I wanted to hear about energies, the basis for the speaking on uh, on energies is energies uh, aligned to uh, spirituality, uh, a belief system, or what 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 is the basis of uh, of that? Where where are we anchoring this energy thing? Um, CD, I saw CD on the line. I'm gonna put it on the spot. Um, Masi, so do you have any insights there from a psychological point of view in terms of this whole energy and intimacy um, that comes from the intimacy. Hi, Disebo, thank you for putting me on the spot. I think um, basically, you know, when we um, talk about, um, I'm gonna talk about spirit from a point that when you interact with people, um, you leave a part of yourself to the other person and vice versa. And whether in the sexual relations um, sphere, that kind of exchange can also bring in either memories or can bring in things that are good, that are bad, that are exciting. However, when you move on into other relations, you also carry that with you so um 
you need to be able to know once you leave that relationship for whatever reason that you leave the relationship for that you are carrying a bit of that person into your relation into your next relation because if you look from a biblical point of view as well Jesus also spoke about you know the woman who was also you know having extra marital relations with so many other people that at the end of the day you are carrying that with you so how do you get rid of yourself from those kind of spirits i mean from a biblical point of view or a spiritual point of view you need to do a lot of deliverance and deliverance is more like you're cleansing yourself so that you will be able to receive whether we call it new energies or new gifting or new uh, you know beauty of that new relationship so that you are not actually traumatized or you are not referring back to those kind of you know bad or past experiences that you've had so I think for me it's important to understand that once you get into a new relationship you need to be able to know that you have gotten rid of whatever that happened in your past relationship I'm not sure whether I'm making sense to you Deseb you are making perfect sense and I'm just thinking now maybe a, a follow-up question to you that um what you are saying applies to both men and women right absolutely I think, yes, thank you for that. I think where we, are, where we lose each other in this patriarchal society is that there is just so much um, labels to women that are sexually liberated than to men that are doing the same thing. There's expectations um, on us to behave in a certain way. There's expectations on us that we, we, we can't have one night stands or we can't have um, a relationship that says, look, um, I don't want a long-term thing. Um, I just want friends with benefits and it's okay. Um, mm. And then I also hear you when you, when you talk about um, the whole sp spirit thing and moving on and everything else. And it's quite, in it's quite interesting for me and intriguing because at the age where we are, um, I mean, the higher you go, the colder it becomes. Mm. What, do you then, what do you then do? Because you were kissing frogs at your 20s. Now you're still kissing frogs. What happens then? I think um, the first important thing um, that I need to highlight this is that when you are at that age, you know exactly what you want. Mm. You can define what it is that you look up, look for in a relationship, what your needs are. And your needs can be diverse. And you need to also be clear as to how am I going to attain in the needs that I want from this relationship and be aware that even if you do still kiss a lot of rocks, you need to be able to know that that is that kind of exchange that you need to also be aware of because some of the spirits that um, you would be um, dealing with could also be spirits that can be copied or lent um, by your children because you would find that, I mean, in the past you would hear um, that um, this um, woman married was a second wife and you find yourself that in your later years you have your own kids who would begin to mimic the same kind of issues that you actually were exposed to in your past life so you need to be able to say this is something that I'm going to you know allow myself to be delivered from so that it does not perpetuate or become a cycle in, into my life. I think once you date at that level, you are quite cognizant of the do's and the don'ts. And you are also cognizant of the negativities and the good, yeah. and you know exactly what the consequences are. So I think at that age, you need to also bring in, which is your past knowledge, your experiences into the form so that you will be able to make better and wise and well-informed decisions in terms of what your needs are because you're very clear in terms of you know what your needs are and also what it is that you want in a relationship it's no longer a situation where maybe you say I want to have a ring on my finger mm -hmm. I want to have this I want to have... you you kind of more defined in terms of what those needs are and you are also realistic in terms of what it is that you can achieve and can't achieve at that particular level. Yeah, yeah. 
that is that is really so true and and food for thought as well um i'm not sure if we have answered you monday but i just want to read out <coughs> a message here from a comment from Mise. It says i'm not dating as i'm married um well okay um I do know though, and see that the dating game has changed significantly. I believe once you simply understand and know what you want, that's what you have to choose. Basically saying that as we, as we, um, as we navigate through, because the choices get, get lesser and lesser as we go, as, as we go older. Um, there's different buckets of people that you meet, you either meet, and everybody's got baggage. Um, which is why it's very important to to know what you want and choose what 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 um what you want because everybody's got baggage like, like you have baggage and people have got kids already people are divorced people are have been hurt um and are very um skeptical about the whole thing so we meet a whole lot of people so because we cannot control that you can only control yourself um and how you deal with such people that you that you come across um because my experience also has been you don't meet somebody and then the very first time they tell you oh okay by the way i have baggage i don't tell people i have baggage i don't think i have baggage nobody thinks they have baggage so how do you how do you navigate that space um as a, as a person that in the 40s most of us have got kids most of us at some point were in very long-term relationships or most of us were married um a couple of times than others but then here you are you're trying to get into this space and and make it work maybe at that point i'll also read some of the um, some of the comments that people um that people my sample made and it's um i know what i want i can even initiate Clof, clof. Does any, everybody know what cloth cloth is? Do I need to explain to anyone? Hello. You can write on the comments if you don't know. That is the fun game that we play. Do we all know what cloth cloth is? If you don't know, raise your hand. Otherwise, I'll move on. Okay, everybody. No, that they spoke on behalf of everyone. So I initiate cloth cloth and, and I'm confident enough to say how and when I want it. Because in our 20s, maybe not so in our 30s, we are always on the receiving end um, of, um, of, of sex in a relationship. But most people, over 60% of people that responded to my, to my mini survey, there was a big thing about this whole sexual liberation um, and, um, and sexual um, revolution that is happening. And I think it's very daunting for men um, because in as much as um, we grow um, chronologically, I think as women, mentally, we grow much, much faster than, than men. Men are still stuck in, um, in, 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 in this men world that says a woman should be like this and women should do this, no matter how much they are well-read or whatever. But I, my experience has been there's certain type of discomfort um, with men our age um, having to deal with us, which is why maybe they prefer to go to the young ones because the young ones are not, not like us. Um, and then they leave the young guys to us. So this is like, it's, 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 it's a, it's a, it just becomes a cycle really but those are the those are the those are the reasons why this happens anyone else that have got thoughts on that particular one nontantla says at our age we even know our body to help our partner to navigate somebody mentioned the the batteries are we all comfortable because we don't always have to, you are not always in a relationship. You need to have a backup plan for when you're not. Is everybody comfortable? I want to hear a different view actually, because it looks like- Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. I, I am, I don't know others. 
I am definitely comfortable. Okay. So, yes. Um, as the, Monday's hand has been up before I, I need also two minutes after Monday. Okay. We can attend Monday. to Monday. Um, I've recognized you, Tembi, and Batosa will come to you to your comments just now, Monday. Yeah, just a, fo a follow up and, and confirmation that I uh, read, uh, I, I, I did receive an answer from what TD explained. But okay. the, uh, and she also um, even uh, permeated in other areas where I, I just wanted to, um, uh, um, to get clarity on. So CD, uh, maybe later on if, when you have that moment, I hear you, your basis for the cleansing and everything is biblical. How do we help those who are not uh, you know, aligned to the Bible and with other spiritual works? And the, one, uh, the other thing that I would want to uh, ask is that, how do we eliminate uh, the number of frogs that needs to be kissed in this journey? Because okay. we, we, are, we have confessed or proclaimed that we know better now. So now that we, we, we have all the spec of the things that needs to be met, how do we eliminate a number of, of, of frogs? Those are, are just my, 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 my questions. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, Monde. T Machaba, are you Tidu or Tembi? Okay, let's go to, because she's asking, yeah, she was asking if um, the question was handled by Tidu or by herself, but we still can't get um, hold of her. But Toza says, oh no, I think it will, um, says, lol, what discomfort, men deal with the discomforts, we just don't shame them. Um, okay. T Machaba, please can you explain your, your, your statement is a bit confusing. But Toza says, at our age, we are even able to tell our partners um, where to touch. I think that's um, the whole sexual liberation that, that, um, we have been that we have been talking about but then a very pertinent question that Monde is asking I think maybe anyone can answer that that how do we eliminate the number of frogs to be kissed on this journey is it even possible to eliminate the number of frogs I don't know if it's possible remember can I come okay so uh, Okay, can I just say something and then you can talk? I don't know if it's possible to eliminate. Go ahead, Montana. Yeah, I don't know if it's, it's possible to eliminate the number of frogs because people come and they lie to you and you think he's the one and you discover that he's not the one. So what do you do? Do you stick there because you want to eliminate the number of frogs? You move on. So that one, I don't know if anybody's got an answer because even though we say yeah. we know exactly what we want, but people come and they lie to us, you know? And then it happens that we can't stick to them because they lie to us. And then the relationship gets finished. And what do you do? You move on. Before you can carry on. Yes, Tebukho? Uh, yes, just to add on to what Nontlantla was saying, I don't think it's easy to just say, okay, there's my man, I found him. We get to kiss a few frogs before you get there. And I think it would be very difficult for one to determine who exactly is the right partner for me to be in a relationship. I've been there uh, and it's not easy to find the right guy. Really, it's not. So um, I, I think the this the cleansing thing or the finding the the, the 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 right partner without going through all the props is an impossible one. Uh, hopefully, maybe OCD might help us how we should navigate that. But the other concern, the other question I wanted to ask was to follow up on what Nontlantla read on Facebook. It was a comment where there's 
I think somebody said uh, energies are exchanged or they remain with you even without sex, just touching or something like that. So I wanted to ask a question whether, does that mean then if you go on a date, the, you are collecting energies as well? Even, you are, even when you are not having, uh, you, are, you are not intimate with this person, you are just going on a date, you have dinner, you, you, you say bye bye and then you kiss. I'm going home with the spirit. <laughs> Oh, you, know, um, you know what you must go on Facebook because the same person has answered um, <laughs> it says as African people we engage in cultural processes what? when we get married and people don't engage about the rever rele reversal process when they divorce so uh, now my question, but don't go to the place where it's a fit. As long as we're not married, guys, ah, we are not. Let us find it to the place. So that's why I mean, I want to know how how do we get rid of the spirits? Because really, it's either then you decide outside Jola or some of the spirits is it in Chizé. What do you do? <laughs> Seriously, guys, help me. Yeah. Well, I think this issue, this is now my personal view, issue of the spirits and everything and the cleansing and the belief. It's, we cannot, we, want, we must just agree to disagree because we do not believe in the same things. Um, there's people that believe when they scratch their cars, they're going for cleansing because somebody is lawyering them. Um, when they trip and fall, somebody's wearing them. Meanwhile, some of us, you get up, you you dust yourself, and you get you go you 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 get a, you get along with life. So I, I really think that, that take what works for you, um, and and run with it. Because the other thing is, after you cleanse yourself, the person that you meet, are you going to ask them if they've cleansed themselves? Because. And, and, and maybe it goes also to, to the point that because you cannot control the other space, the external space in other people, it's better to work on ourselves. Maybe the whole cleansing thing will work on yourself and, and, and protect you. I don't know. But I think um, this conversation that we've had um, just speaks to, 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 to a few things, um, a few nuggets that, that I've picked up. And I will invite anyone that wants to highlight on anything. But what I walk away with is... Um, in, your, in our 40s, people have, we have become more um, confident and um, a sense of self-esteem. And I think we do not say it in so many words, but I think a sense of adventure um, to say, this is where we are. Um, we, need to, we need to navigate this life. But there's also a sense of knowing what to want and, and getting, how do we get over the hurt? Because all of us, we can sit here the whole night to say, how we've been done badly by people, how we've been singled, whatever. But we need to get to a place where we have our own um, coping mechanisms on how we get over the hurt so that we don't walk around hurting other people because hurt people hurt other people. Um, and also this whole issue around energies, you make out of it what you want to make out of it, but clearly it's a big thing. Maybe we need to to research on the energies and the flow of energies and then maybe have another session on energies i don't know but it was quite interesting it was quite interesting for me that one so that is my so, my parting short um i'm not sure if anyone else has some nuggets um that they want to share pindi let's just said something disable can i come in because monde wants me to clarify yes can i yes yes please I think, uh, Monda, just to um, clarify for you is that, you know, the elimination process and the kissing of frogs is something that is part of the process. However, I think it's important for people to be aware of the spirits that you will be interacting with. For example, you might be in a relationship where somebody is, um, let's say, uh, very um, abusive, abusive, maybe not in a sense of physical abuse, but somebody who is very rude, who is very um, 
uh, uh, disrespectful towards you. You need to be able to, you know, kind of know that those kind of energies are energies that might ne not necessarily be in alignment with what you want. And at times you might find that now you start to, or if somebody as very, um, what's the word, harsh and deals with you in that, you know, verbal abusive manner, you tend to now become um, so afraid of them that it might actually be a spirit that you might find yourself carrying forth into your relationship. And that's why I'm saying you need to be able to get rid of those kind of energies where you will be able to say, I am not going to allow what that person you know, has done into the relationship to be something that changes me or I carry forth that kind of energy. So in, in essence, when I talk about you delivering yourself from a spiritual point of view, however, also from a psychological point of view, where you draw a line and say, I'm going to find help. We, I'm not going to be subjecting myself to that kind of torture and be able to carry on and live the life that you want to live and, and be able to accept what your needs are in the relationship. Mm. That is quite insightful. Um, I think I'm, I'm clear, I'm clearer now. Monde, you, are you covered? Um, yeah, very much, uh, I'm covered, uh, yes. I, I, think, I think it's something that we need to explore more not yeah. only from the sexual side, because TD, I'm hearing a whole lot that also this could be the patterns of trauma that you would be absolutely sure, absolutely, Monday, absolutely. Okay, um, we can go on and on on this subject, but I, I really hope that each and every one of us tonight took something um, with something worthy to, with um, exploring something worth um, sharing with whoever, but, but most of all, um, something that is, that is, tr that is special to, to yourself, that works for you. Um, it has sparked a conversation, whether at the dinner table or at your next hangout. Um, and um, I think Pindi said it was an enlightenment. She's taking notes. Um, and yeah, this dating game, guys, Mina, I don't believe in um John Ozog Herder. I just believe in this is life. Every day you make decisions the same way we make decisions about our careers and everything. Unfortunately, we don't have a crystal ball. You keep a positive mindset. Um, when you are hurt, you 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 get your um, you you get your um, your coping mechanisms because we can never we can never know it all. We can never be hundred percent. So. Let's keep at it um, and keep our vices up all the time and be on the lookout for, for, for any risks that might lie, lie ahead. And you have been a great audience. Thank you so much for the interaction. And I think we, when we debrief with Nontanta and Monde, we will talk about what is next. But I think this was quite a, a serious, but also a light um, um, topic for tonight. But thank you so much. Um, Last word, goodbye. Thank you, Disebo. Thank you so much. Nontanta, you want to say bye to your guests? Thank you so much. And yeah, one hour is so little, but next week, I think we should talk about sex and spirits. <laughs> Seriously, I, I asked you, sex and spirits. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's Maybe, a good idea. Uh, no, seriously. Be yeah. Um, because people Actually, are scared. People are scared to talk about it. So next week's topic is sex and spirits. Whoever yeah. wants to facilitate it, who's bold enough, can or I'll do it because I'm bold enough to do it. So whoever can, can I think whoever wants to facilitate it can get in touch with me. Yeah. Yeah. I think also next week can we also not uh, elaborate on the on the spirits and auras. Let's all go and do. Yes. Let's all yeah. go and do the uh, uh, homework and find out. Yeah. And I'm interested also because now how mm -hmm. TD explains the spirits is different way that the way, the way of, I think people are talking about it. You mm -hmm. know, they will scare okay. us that we have a lot of spirits in us. But anyway, whoever wants to. 
um, get in touch who wants to participate or wants to facilitate their sex and spirits next week, get in touch with me. But definitely we're talking about sex and spirits. You must Thank be you bold. So no filters. No I think filters. The should remain. No filters. I think the server should continue. She identifies with the with the subject quite well. So hey, she's la, done la. a great job. She must continue. Ah la la. She must continue. Okay, you are on mute. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Take care. And <laughs> of the spirits. Bye. <laughs> Bye.